Hail and greetings all, Ragnarok here. And today I'd like to check back on one of the projects we started about the end of last year, actually. Uh, on the 31st of December, we decided to try to desiccate some bird wings, legs, and the head and tail in cornmeal. Now, normally I use salt, so I wanted to try cornmeal and see how productive and compare the results. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's now been about 50 days. Usually I wait 30 before I check, but as life gets in the way, we move on and adapt. So here we go. So as you can see, I kind of disturbed it a little when I moved it, but to get the corn mill off, we'll just use a little paintbrush. And we'll just slide it right off the nails. This one looks pretty good. Seems pretty stiff. Let's pull the other pieces out. And you want to make sure to try and save as much of this cornmeal as you can because it can be used over and over again. Feels nice and solid. Stiff. Alright, here's one of our claws. You can see, nice and stiff. Mobility there. We don't want that. So, as you can see, the tail was fine, completely finished. Um, the wings, not so much, was still at the bend at the elbow there. Um, we're going to continue to clean these up. The talon was pretty good. It still has a little flex in it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue it. And the head was not. Um, it's clearly, as you see, it's still mobile. So what I'm going to do is finish with Old Faithful. Yeah, definitely. That's right. Canning and pickling salt. Can't go wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same box. I put the cornmeal into another container for further experimentation. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a layer of salt in the bottom of our box. And go ahead and break it up. There's not any clumps in it. And now, since our wings are pretty much dried in place, like I said, here's where the flexibility still is. I'm just going to go ahead and lay it in. And I took the form off of it, so we don't need to hold it in place anymore. We're just going to bury it in salt. And I'm mainly going to focus right there on that elbow. Make sure we get that nice and packed on there. And then we'll do the same thing with the other wing. We're going to go ahead and set it over here. Grab some more salt. And cover that wing. And we'll go ahead and make sure that that area is still dry. It's completely encased in the salt. Both sides.
Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the head and pour salt into it, filling the mouth. Because this is the position that I want the beak to be in for my final project. I'll set it over there. And then we're just gonna bury it. And I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, the talon is in the position that I want. It's just still slightly flexible, which is not completed. So we're gonna stick it right there. And we'll just cover it in salt. And then I'm going to put the tail back in the box too because we'll just keep all the parts together. We'll just throw some salt on it just because. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to seal this back up and we'll let it sit longer. Now I will go ahead and change the date on here. Just for my personal knowledge. That way, when I go back to check it again, I'll know exactly how long we've been in. Always make sure you save your forms and your nails. They'll have many, many uses. So, did we learn anything from desiccating with cornmeal? Sure we did. It works. It may not be as quick as just using salt, but push come to shove, if I needed to desiccate something and all I had was cornmeal, it would work. It might take a little bit longer, longer than expected, but that's the process. We continue to roll with it, we adapt, and we wait. We can't rush this. So until next we meet, be well.